Hello, Nancy Sime here. Thank you so much for tuning in to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. As you know, on this show, we discuss everything and everyone trending today is no different, as I always say. Stay with me, and when I come back after this break, the show begins. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. Today on my hot seat, I have the one, the only, Sizzle! What's pop, what's pop, what's pop? Hey, 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 hey. Loud in the flesh. I, I could like go on and on like yeah. Or you could just stop. Yeah. <laughs> or I could just stop, just right? Stop, right? No, I, I stop, it's fine. Yeah. Good to see you. How are you? I'm great. 2020, we here. Oh, I'm just noticing that your your, your t shirt says Chub Life. Yeah, it says Chub Life. Well, I'm actually just rocking this. I like it. I actually like the whole thing. Life. Yeah, you of better. course. So. You yeah. have to, you have no choice. Uh, now you have this segment called the Start of Day segment where you talk about what you're wearing and the inspiration behind it. Tell us what are you wearing and why did you decide to wear it today? I'm wearing shorts and it's hot outside. Right. Basically, um, I'm wearing some black sh shoes because my my shoes get dirty okay. when, in the in the dust, especially on the main line. <laughs> uh, but I'm wearing this white shirt because it says <laughs> Chuck Life on it and it matches what it says on my Some hat. Some people gonna come for you. Was in the main line? I just send them. I, send them. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up on the main line, so it's no biggie. But um, yeah, it's just Chuck Life shirt. You know what I mean? Nice. I like it. I like, and your dreads, you know, I never really noticed you had dreads on. Maybe because you always Six happy. plus years. Whoa. I grew these from the, from. The scratch. Yeah, these Amazing. are not extensions or nothing. They look so good and they look really long. They're, pretty, they're down there. Nice. It's like, it's so hot, so you can't put them down, so I got to put them up. Oh, you know, yeah, exactly. Well, it's so good to have you on the show today, Sindhu. Thanks for having me. Why did you, why, why not Susky anymore? Though? Because it just represents a different character. Right. Yeah. What character is this? Since it's more like, like I'd say, people user friendly, mm. more Nigerian. Mm. So this kid was more aggressive, more thug, you mm. know what I mean? From a different lifestyle. You're not a thug no more? No, I'm growing up. Were you ever a thug? I mean, I lived that lifestyle. Right. I, was, I was out there. All right. Okay. Thank you for being honest. Was he a cop to talk about? No, nah, no. Nah. I'm always honest. Like, I just don't do a lot of interviews, you know what I'm okay. saying? So people don't get to see, you know, listen to me. But yeah, I'm usually honest. Okay, that's that's good to know. You ask me anything. Okay, great. Well, let's let's talk about the topic of the day, which is managing oneself as a rap artist. Now, um, I think an average rap audience basically thinks that to be a rapper, you must be, you know, aggressive. You know, do a lot of like, just like you mentioned, there was an era where you were suffocated, and now you seem to. Um, do you think this is true? You think you have to be aggressive to be a rapper? No. Mm -hmm. Um, you just got to be able to convey a message and it has to be believable. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you portray this gangster image and you're aggressive in your lyrics, mm -hmm. it's believable, you know what I'm saying? But then the day it comes and you have to be a gangster, hey, you better be a gangster. Right. So I can believe you, you know I what I mean? Because if, then if I can't, if it's like, oh, you want to beg and stuff, it's like, oh, you've been lying on these records. But isn't that what really happens in me? I feel like what's, what's lyrics are really true. I mean, a lot of lyrics aren't true because, I mean, it's creativity, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. for me, for the style of music I do, I try to keep it as true 100? as possible. 100? So most of the things you say are real? Yeah, like, especially on my rap records. Like, right. the ones where I'm really rapping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm telling stories of stuff that happened, you know? Right, right. So most times, you know, some, every now and then I might just create something, create a scenario, a story, but... Which ones should we, when we, when we listen to you, which one should we think is I mean, fiction? my fans know. Cause like I want to be a fan. Which one should I look out for? <laughs> Which one should I, mean, I see as there's, fiction? There's different. There's. I mean, there's not really too much fiction. It's just like I might just be telling the story. Like yeah. my homie did this. He went that. He had to do that. Mm -hmm. It might not have happened. You feel me? I might just mm -hmm. be living through somebody else's eyes. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But, but when you talk about the women, is that for real? When I talk about what? The women. Is that I don't for really talk fiction? about women. Like oh that. really? Honestly. I, I wasn't the one I listen to. I like seeing. No, no, like, cause I don't. Oh yeah, I, I don't really you. talk about women. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know. Job. I might just say she came through and she did what she had to do and peace out. You got know? you. Yeah. Got really you. Get too, too much detail. But well, you know about your rap. Still talking about your rap. Your mm -hmm. style is quite unique. I like the fact that you can, you know, infuse like um, bull, sorry, Yoruba, English, pigeon. and pigeon together and do it so smoothly. How did you come about this stuff? Sinzu. Right. That, that, that's, that's really what Sinzu is about. Like mm. being able to take like... Um, tradition, culture, mm -hmm. and make and still fuse it with hip-hop. Mm -hmm. Sauce Kid did it a little bit, you know what I mean? But Sauce Kid was still aggressive. It was still like that, huh? Even the voice I rapped it with, the tone I rapped it was different. Mm -hmm. Like, Sinzo more 
chill and relax. Like, go for that, hey, Joe. Like, you know. Like, we can all approach you now, right? Because right, before right. I'm sure they're like, oh, don't go I, near that guy. Honestly, I'm. It's like it's it's a it's a it's a, that whole unapproachable thing is a misconception right. in the sense that if you allow them one chance, they'll take chances. You mm, know what I'm saying? Mm. If I let people walk up to me and shake my hand, they never let go. Mm. They just hold on to my hand and start asking me other questions, and it's like, yo, I got to go. Mm, mm, so mm. that's how that whole unapproachable thing it comes came out. Yeah, yeah, right. But it's not really that. It's just I'm no nonsense though. Like, how long have you been rapping before you went fast? I've been rapping since well, I got on the scene out here in '05. Mm. I was rapping probably like a couple years before that, maybe. Wow. Rough I mean, I always rapped. Mm. No more than that. I mean, like, you know, boom, 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 you know, in class and stuff, yeah, but yeah. as far as, like, going to the studio to record, sometime in 05. Amazing, now. amazing. How do you stay relevant? What's your secret? I don't have no secret. I don't even know if I'm relevant right now. I'm trying to get back on my thing. Aren't you so humble? <laughs> it's, all, it's all good on camera. <laughs> it's oh, good. camera. It's all good on camera. <laughs> Okay, well, where do you find your artistic inspiration from? Well, I think, wait, first and foremost, mm -hmm. before we move forward, I really do think you're still ready. But the reason why you're here on trending is obviously there's something you're doing right. And, like, right. you've been able to, like, um, maybe since there's a new era and Suski is past, but I feel like Suski, there's nobody you mentioned Suski to who wouldn't really be able to relate to your music or relate to who you are. Right. So what do you think? Or do you do anything special or you just... I know. Really well, like you said, my style is unique. Mm -hmm. So I think um, being away, it's missed. And then it's like when you hear a little bit of it here and there, it's like, oh my God, that dude, like what happened to him? You know? Yeah. I think that's basically what it is. And Are you then, ever going to move back here and just chill here? Or? No? I, look, I'm where the bag at. You know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm chasing that bag. So it's okay. like, if they're going to give me money to stay here, I'll yeah. stay here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But if they're not going to give me money to stay here, I'll go where they're going to give me money at. Right, music America. Wherever they're giving me money at. I just <laughs> You're ready to move. I just send it to you. <laughs> okay. No problem. But where do you find your artistic inspiration from? People's experiences, my experiences, okay. um, stuff people say like right now you, we could be talking and okay. you could just be like experiences. It could just be like a statement you make. Like you could just be like, you know, um, long trips. Like I hate going on long trips for short visits. Mm. And that could just spark a thought in my head. Right. And then from there I just take it mm. to where it goes. Mm. Right? Wow, you're pretty talented. I wish like I could just see a guy like you know doing some guy stuff and I just put a song to it like but I could you never. You can. That's that's what a lot of these um, female songs, these heartbreak songs, are about. You never. But <laughs> 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 that that is an experience. That's hey, not why I don't. Hey, no no hey, no 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 no. I don't agree. But it's okay. We we'll what? Um, but tell me, in your opinion, how much influence does you know African culture have on rap? These days, especially in the continents, like you know, there's a lot of new sounds coming up, and like people are yeah. feeling more and more conf confident with you know, um, rapping in their indigenous tongues and like rapping in their in their mother's tongue. I think um, I think Afro beats and hip hop. Mm -hmm. I, w I won't say rap per se, but hip hop are intertwined. Like hip hop is like a universal sound right now. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like you have like reggaeton artists that want to do hip hop or mm -hmm. fuse. Mm -hmm. Like I was listening to a Justin Bieber song the other day, and it was a trap. It was a trap beat, and I'm like, "Whoa, that's not the Justin Bieber I remember." You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, hip hop is like such a sound. It's so like there's so many sounds in it to where Af it opens the door for Afro beats. Mm -hmm. Like Afro beats is popping right now because hip hop allows it to. Honestly, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it was a time when like um, I remember like Afro beats artists would like try to reach out to American artists to do records. And it's not necessarily that way right now. Like, right. They're reaching out to, to us right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, let's jump on this wave. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think they go hand in hand, and I think they help each other out. You feel me? And okay. um, it's it's making it it's making Afro beats global at this point. Amazing, amazing. What are the things you look out for when you see a rap artist perform? Is he believable? Is he lying? Is he um? Does he have the image? Um, mm. A rap artist is he is he a hip hop head? Mm -hmm. Does he understand? Does he live a hip hop lifestyle? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like one thing that's gonna differentiate me from everybody doing hip hop out here is one my experiences, my lifestyle, stuff like stuff I've been through, my experiences. I live a legit hip hop lifestyle. Like mm -hmm. everything I've said, I've done, I've done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've been to jail. I've hustled. I've gang banged. I done got in fights. But you know all that. Gang bang in America means like like gang banging like like street gangs. I don't mean I don't mean 
whatever you might have thought I meant. Say one day, why me? Yeah, I don't die for it. You see how she looked at me, bro? I'm like, hold up, let me clean that up quick. All right. That's how they were yeah, up. let me clean that up, man. Hold on. Rewind. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. all right. I lived the, like, I embodied that lifestyle of what mm -hmm. I thought hip hop was about. You feel right. me? It was like, I lived my life and I was just like, yo, I'm hip hop like a mug, like, you know? And so that's what, that's what I look at when I, you know, when I see a rapper. Now, when I hear a rapper, I want to hear what you're doing to the beat. All right. Like, I want to, I want to, I want to, like, if, uh, we listen to the same beat and I know how I'm attack it. And I hear how you attack, and I'm like, whoa, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Like, shout out to Dremel. That's my boy right now, you know what I'm saying? Dremel, Dremel going in. Like, he's one of them rappers where I listen to them now, and I'm like, okay, okay. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Some rappers, I hear them, and I'm just like, all right. Right, like, right. I could have did that. Like, mm -hmm. or, Let's talk story. about work ethic stuff. Well, you've worked in America, and I'm sure you've worked with a couple of rappers. Mm -hmm. um, how would you, compared to how the work ethics of... Um, Nigerian rappers out and the work ethics there. What what is the difference? Is there I, any difference? I can't say per se because I haven't really worked with too many Nigerian rappers. Okay. Now and even the ones I've worked with, some of the time we were in the studio together. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times it's just like sent over the internet type of stuff. You know? Okay. So I don't know how, but I, I can definitely say like there's people who I'm not gonna mention names. You know. So I'm going to 2020 mind my, I'm always mind my business, but I was going really, really mind my business. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to mention names. There's some people I sent records to, bro. Yeah, I'm still waiting on the record. Right. That was 2018. Oh, wow. So they work at Thick Mike for take like two years to make it. Oh, wow. Okay. That, that says a lot, definitely. <laughs> yeah, if you were to change good. anything about rap in Africa, what would it be? Change anything about rap in Africa? Man. I don't know. Like... I would like to change the way it's received. Mm. You feel me? Like when a rapper goes on stage and performs and you know spits those lyrics, the way those lyrics are received, I would like to change that mm. because it's not the same when a pop artist or Afro pop artist goes there and does it. Mm. People get engaged. Mm. They feel like they know the words. Mm. I like to change that for rap. Okay. But have everybody like saying everything word for word. You know what I mean? Okay. I, I like to change that. If you were to go back five years from now, what's that one thing you'd change about yourself? Five years ago was what, 2013? There about? No, uh, 2015. 2015. This is 2020. I'm thinking 2018. Mm -hmm. 2015. I wouldn't have violated my probation. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't have violated my probation and ended up in prison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I would have changed. Did prison change you in any way? Yeah. Made me more patient. It made me a grown up. You know what I mean? Like, I was a. I was a. Nigga, I was a thug, I was a gangbanger, and now I'm a grown up, you know what I mean? So, oh, what? That is so sweet. Look at you, like that, though. I love it. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good to know that at least it did that to you. Amazing. Yeah, it did that. Okay. You know, in an African setting, when you say you're more matured and more patient and everything, we always want to ask, so who's a woman? Like, do you see yourself getting married anytime soon? I mean, I see maybe, myself ever? getting married. No, not anytime soon. Okay. No, no, not mm. like within the next three months. Hell no. no. Next one year? A year just starting, really? No. Nah. Because okay. even if I meet someone in the next six months, it'll probably take at least a year to plan a wedding. Right, no, you're no. right. So, yeah, no. But the kind of woman I would like would have to be somebody who loves music, who can be in the studio while I'm recording and not be bored. Mm. You know I mean? Find something to engage yourself. Mm -hmm. Someone who I can hang out with while I'm with my guys, if mm -hmm. necessary. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really important. Right. If you if you have to lie to your woman where you're at because you don't want her to come see what's going on here, mm -hmm. then it's not going to work. You have a point. You yeah. have a very, 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 very valid point. Yep. <laughs> All right, tell us about your new projects. What are you working on? What you expect from you? What's popping? Okay, so I just dropped the I dropped the project Better Late Than Never. Mm -hmm. I dropped it November fifteenth. It's on all streaming platforms. Go cop that. I just dropped the video um, Zankuzu featuring Zlatan. You nice. know what I'm saying? It's the first single. I got um, a couple of artists on there. I got Zlatan on the album. I got Peruzzi. Okay. My Young Six. I got Olamide. And um, I got my guy from America. His name is Mike the Glory. Okay. I think that's about it. That's about everybody I have on there. Nice. Very, very nice. Very yeah. nice. Uh, apart from this album and like the videos and the EPs coming out, what else are you working on? What should we expect from you? I'm working on the DMW project. You know, I got a couple records. We just um, placed some records in there. Okay. I've been working with Dremel a lot recently. Um, okay. I'm working on um, 
we're gonna put a body of work together. You know, German and myself, um, YC as well. Okay. And um, Vector and I are putting something together. Shout out to Burner Boy, we just put something together. Mm. David O, Peruzzi. Mm. Um, who else did I do something with recently? I did the, um, I did a Chop, uh, Chop Life Crew remix. That's Got pretty cool. Files, um, Dremo, myself, and Mojo on there. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. You're doing really well. I like that. Did a couple records. I did a song with Dami Crane. Um, okay. He, he dropped it recently. Uh, right. Did a song with Paper Coleon. He's you a rapper. You are working. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been working. I've done about 30 songs since I've been here. Oh, whoa. Yeah. How long have you been here? Four months, since the 13th of December. And you've done about how many songs? Oh, at least 26. What? Yeah. My God. Yeah. You I work. are on fire. I go. Call the busy. ambulance. Sorry, call the fire truck. The ambulance? <laughs> <laughs> that must mean he did. I am Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> we don't see any fire trucks here, not even ambulances. There's no but fire like, trucks out here. Yeah, we're just like, there are, but you know what I mean. <laughs> all right, that's pretty good. Thank you very much for sharing. It's good to know all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. We're going to go on a short break now. Please enjoy the video of the day when we come back. The show continues. Hi guys, welcome back to Trending Brati by Airtel. I still have the one, the only Sezu on my hot seat. And of course, me here, still interviewing, still your host. As you know, um, we're about to move on to the next deal, which is a fast fire question segment. What I do basically is just ask you a couple questions about yourself, generic questions, and then you right. answer them under like 60 seconds, really fast, like. Gotcha. Great. Time starts now. <laughs> What's your greatest treasure? My voice. What's the first track you ever recorded? Can't remember. What's your favorite color? Red. Can you prepare any local dish? Pondedium. You can prepare pondedium? Yes. That was the question I answered it. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> okay, Sizu. <Sezu>. Okay. <laughs> What's the top on your to-do list? Shoot the video for Oakwa. How do you spend your leisure time? In the studio. Fame or money? Money. Describe yourself in one word. Serious. What's your kind of woman? Serious. Spell your name backwards. U-Z-N-I-S. Okay. Use us names. Ooh, that could be a new era. Usnis. Usnis, yeah. That could be another era. Usnis, I don't date. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that, 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 that thing. Usnis is going to date Usnis. Hey, hey. No, 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 no. No, but I like Usnis. I think you should try it. Season. What time is up? But like, yeah. But man, listen, man, they call me Sins with Science Zoo, and I'm in this thing, man. Shout out to you for having me. Shout out to Hip TV, you know what I'm saying? I'm hip on TV, you know what I'm saying? Sins. You're not going yet. I just made like that segment is over. Like, we're about to ask you more questions. I shot on the door. <laughs> You're going to do it again. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on now to the tribe. What happens, I get to ask you a couple of social media abbreviations, just like something very light. All right. Yeah, and then you just give me a few minutes. Are you ready? Let's go. BTW. By the way. Yeah, cool. WYD. What are you doing? BRB. Be right back. WCW. Uh, Woman Crush Wednesday. Come, Come on. on, you know you know it. You know I it. I never have none though, by the way. Okay. GTG. Got to go. You know? Wow. I, hey man, I, I write every day. I know these things, like you know. <laughs> OOTD. OOTD. Uh huh. Oh oh, I've never used that one. Okay. OOTD. Uh huh. I don't know that. What's that? Do you want me to help you? Yeah. 
you help oh, me, please? O-O-T-D? Yeah. Uh, no, nah, I never heard that Do you want me to help? Do you want yes. a clue or should I help you? Yeah, okay, give me a clue. A clue is like, you know, you, you come in here, you look cool, you look free, you fly, and I'm like, yo, what you're wearing is an O-O-T-D. Only one. What you're wearing? Out of one. town. No, honey. Out of town dressing. No, fam. O-O-T-D. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Do you want me to help you? Yes. No, actually, what people say is, help me, please, Nancy. Help me, Nancy. Like, what's up? Like, OOTD, what's that? <laughs> oh, OOTD, out of town dressing. No, outfit of the day. Like, what's up? OOTD? Yeah. Outfit of the day. Of the day. Yes. That's goofy. That's corny. No, it's not corny. I'm not going to walk to nobody and be like, yo, what's your OOTD? What? Well, it's there, <laughs> Like, you might not say, but it's there. It's there. Yeah, it's like saying like, what's your like the Q or T D? People say it online though. They don't really say it in real life. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like it. I like the other ones. I like W I D B R B G T D. Yeah, the ones I know, the ones I use. N B D. New baby mama. N B D though. New baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I said mama on D, but yeah. <laughs> new baby, new baby daddy. I'm your new baby daddy. I'm your NBD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't change out for you. No, 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 my dear. I'm please, your NBD. Dear. No, please, dear. It's not that kind of no, show. Let me be NBD. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, please, dear. It's, I'm it's, just joking. It's, 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 should I help you? Yeah, help me. You, I already told you what people say. NBD. No belts. No belts, then. <laughs> no belts, dummy. No, it's not. I don't know. I don't know. I, you want to help you? Yes, I've been saying that. Help me, Nancy. Yeah, you help me. Please, Nancy. Like, it's like, please. Okay, I don't want you to help me. If you want to I'm going to help my audience. Okay, my what is guests, it? My beloved guests. Help me, please, Nancy. What oh, is cool. it? Oh, cool. You see, that wasn't so hard. It means no big deal. Yeah. Who came up with these? I don't know. OOTD and... You came out with it? Yeah. The ones that you got, like the same them. people that came up with it. So. Do people actually use those on the thing? Yeah, the same way people use WCW and BTW Never, and never, never heard of it. If I'd heard of it before, I'd have known it. Trust me. People do, people do. People the do. reason I know those is because I use those and I've heard of them before. Now you start using this one too. Nah, corny. No doubt. You dice. use no big deal. Uh-uh. But you use it as no big I'd deal. I'd just be like, no biggie. But well, can you use it when you want to say new baby daddy? NPD. Mm. Nah! <laughs> 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 Okay, that's it for this segment. We're going to move on now. But before we do so, please allow us to go on this short break. When we come back, the show continues. Hey guys, welcome back to Trending Brought to You by Airtel. Since is about to read some nasty comments, please stay tuned as he reads and responds the best way he can. The last one, please. You, you should be the undisputed king of rap. What went wrong? Um, a lot of things just didn't add up. Um, money went dry. I started catching legal drama, went to, went to jail, had probation, so I had to be out in America, and the whole time, it was a vac it was a vacuum, a vacancy, you know what I'm saying, I should say. So that's what's went wrong, but it's 2020, and we're done with all that, and let's see where it goes. Vision 2020. Let's turn up. 2020, that's science, zoo in this thing, you heard? You want to see my eyes? Hey, finally, show us his eyes. eyes. Oh, let's visit I got 2020 vision in 2020, you dig? I like your boy. Don't yeah. worry back. Oh, I don't see my uh, <laughs> Take your camera, be your, your laptop. My iPad, it's my iPad. iPad, of course. Yo, what up, man? It's your boy, Science Zoo, man. I'm on Hip TV. What's popping? That was random. That's what they're doing. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. But I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming on the show today. You were amazing. Appreciate Such a great you. sport. Thank you for I love how, me. like, the roller coaster of, like, emotions. Like, one minute you're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the next minute you're like, you know, it's just, just it's it'd be like that, something like that. That's how it's kind of like, you know. You guys enjoy the top five. We will be right back. Do not go anywhere. Top five art galleries in the world. Holding the number five spot is Start a Modern, located in London. Holding a reputable position in the list of famous art galleries across the world. Tate has a collection of international contemporary art from 1900s year. National Gallery London At number 4 Located on the Trafalgar Square, the National Gallery is one of the oldest art museums of the world and the United Kingdom. The works include artworks from Titan, Botticelli, Michelangelo, Raphael Cézanne, Rembrandt, Gainsborough and Hoggart. 
British Museum London comes at number three. One of the world's utmost art galleries of history and culture, the British Museum in London, contains permanent collection, summing up to 8 million works, the largest in existence. You will easily spend a week and still miss some of the amazing masterpieces. And at number two, Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York. Founded in 1870 by a group of American nationals, the Metropolitan Museum of Art represents the works of art from ancient Egypt and classical antiquity. At number one, the Louvre Museum Paris, home of the most famous painting of the world, Mona Lisa. Louvre Museum is the oldest and largest museum in the capital of France. Ever since its inception in 2007, the art gallery has stopped the least of most visitor museums in the world. And it's a wrap. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for tuning in today. As you know, I had scenes on my hot seat and we had a lot to talk about. You can join the conversation. Yes, follow us on Twitter at HeapTV, on Instagram at official HeapTV. You can also follow me on Instagram if you wish at Nancy Isime Official. Until I see your pretty faces next time, do not forget that I love you, but God loves you more. And don't forget to tune into the Nancy Isime Show every Sunday, 8.30 p.m. right here on your favorite TV station. See you later. Thank you.